Greetings all, Fanny here for Gemini's Daily Oracle Message. Gemini, the first two cards that came out for you today are Choice and Healing. The Healing card states, your mind, body, and soul are in a deep period of healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing that you need with open arms and an open heart. Healing can sometimes feel very painful because we have to freshly remember and look at what we need to heal from. But through vis visualizations, meditations, cleansings, and anything else that you feel like you need to do, healing is possible. And as Spirit says, you have to be open to receive. You have to be open to want that change. That's the thing with anything when it comes to spirituality is that you have to want the change. You have to initiate it and you have to follow through. Spirit can provide you with everything. They can manifest all of the tools, all of the ingredients, but you still have to form it together and bring it to completion. And that is where a lot of people get stumped because they're like, I don't know what to do with this. I was never taught how to do this. Or this was never even encouraged for me. I am blessed enough to have someone who raised me in the mentality of what spirit teaches us and how to harness it for ourselves. But not everyone has that. But that is why I am here to help teach you. I recently went through this myself in healing a trauma, uh, a trauma memory from my childhood. I went back to the memory. I stood between my child self and what caused the trauma. And then when I took, when I took my power back and I sent them away, I cleansed the room, like physically cleaned it up and down, top to bottom, everything. And it wasn't just the room. I threw out every bit of furniture in that room. I repainted it and I filled it back up with new things. And I felt so amazing afterwards. I felt voided out, yes, because I released a lot of things that was blocking my sacral and solar plexus chakra. And it was all sitting in those. So when it, when it, when I released it, I felt very voided out, but I was able to then fill it with more positive energy of creation and satisfaction. And that is just an advice that I have for you if you want to do that for your own healing journey. A visualization like that where you go back to the memory of the causation and you physically clean it, you protect your child self or whoever you were in that moment, and you remove what caused the, what caused the trauma, that is just some advice and a visualization aid if you choose to listen to that, Gemini. You also have the card of choice. You're being asked to make a choice with what you've been struggling with. It's time to make a decision which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition and eliminate everyone else's input and feel your way to into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. Your life is not going to look like what anyone else t says it needs to look like because they're approaching it from a completely different perspective than you are. Every person is the culmination of everything that they've ever experienced, the challenges that they've gone through, and their reactions to those challenges. And that's why the butterfly effect is so prevalent in spirituality and life in general because the ripple effect of what one thing does here that might seem in insignificant has a huge effect over here. So that's why we want to be careful and listen to our intuition because our intuition is our direct connection to our higher selves and the higher divine. And if that's, that's not something that you have right now, then I want you to work on, on connecting and strengthening your intuition. You have open up, going back to the healing card, being open to the energy that spirit is trying to bring to you. You're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in a wonder in wonderful ways when you decide to open up. Exactly. For so long, people like myself and maybe even you, Gemini, that have been hurt, that have been traumatized, that have been pushed to the side and put down, we build Fort Knox walls around us because we never want to be hurt again. But not only is that keeping everything that has hurt us trapped inside, it's preventing anything that wants to help us and wants to love us from coming in because we are immediately on the defensive. Take a step back, my love. In your healing, allow yourself to open up again. With healthy boundaries, do not completely forget the lessons that you've learned from the trauma in these situations, but that doesn't mean you have to completely block out everybody because there will be people who see you, Gemini, and there will be people who truly want to love you as long as you're able to open up and allow yourself to trust again. Have a beautiful day, Gemini.